That was that quest? Well, that's the end of um I guess that quest. Um next quest is searching for Constantine. Alright, let's get it. That quest just had that one cutscene in it. Oh, that's another quest. Yeah, I think that's that other story quest. Oh, they got real cold down here. You know, we, I'm in Georgia, by the way. I'm down way down in the south. It is cold. I know y'all up there up north, freezing up there. It's just like 40 degrees down here. So it's like it might be in the negatives up there. It's already already don't got so cold, man. You know, it's it, it been a while since it's actually been cold, you know? This is the camp that Constantine's escort must have established. It looks more like a battlefield. I hope that Omega and your cousin survived the fight. Search the area. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what happened here. Hey. Most of the weapons are missing. Our soldiers wouldn't have taken a rest without defenses. The tents are lacerated by what looks like claws. And there are traces of blood everywhere. Some of these men must have been attacked in their sleep. By beasts? Our soldiers were attacked by surprise and... Animals were amongst the assailants. However, our men reacted properly. They were armed and they fled as best they could. There are no bodies and no sign of the presence of Constantine or Katazak. Perhaps they were in another place and the soldiers wanted to join them. We need to follow the tracks. I guess, I guess we're done here. <laughs> this area has been trampled. An entire stampede passed by here. Our soldiers must have fled the area and taken this path followed by their assailants. This is a sacred place of a native cult. No doubt this is where Katasak and Constantine were going. It isn't really a place of a cult, uh, but rather a place of anchoring. A place where Donegada perform a ritual to become Sinol Menawi. These places are charged with great energy. Perhaps Katasach wanted to use it to bring relief to your cousin. Perhaps. But there are bodies, and without a doubt there was fighting here. Search the place. Let's see what we are able to find. The 
corpses of both men and beasts. These soldiers fought dearly to the end. <sighs> Neither Constantine nor Katazek are amongst them. This blade is a native ritual knife. And this bowl contained a potion. Someone wanted to perform a ritual here. Could Katasak have found a better means to alleviate Constantine's symptoms? A crater, without a doubt caused by an explosive potion. The soldiers might have been kind. They must have been desperate to have taken such drastic measures. Constantine and Katasak must have been visiting this place. Perhaps performing some sort of healing ritual. When the attack took place, the soldiers intervened and many fell during the fight. But a group escaped down this path. We need to continue following their tracks. Okay, let's keep it moving. More tracks, footprints. The ones who got away fled this way. Strange. These trees look half calcinated, as if they were exposed to immense heat. These weapons are in terrible condition. Whatever did these men come up against? I hear that somebody want to fight you, music. I don't see nothing, though. Another burnt tree. This path seems to have been scorched in flames. Right, stay at this joker. Hurry up, get him. Got him. I am shooting like crazy. These poor soldiers were torn to pieces. Animals again? Or something else. More signs of an explosion. Can't believe that our soldiers could be carrying so many explosive potions. So many explosive potions. New footprints. Met up with them and took this path. There was more fighting over here. There are not only corpses of our own men. Where could these other soldiers have come from? More signs of explosions. But what were they doing with all these explosives on them? stops on this overhang and despite signs of a skirmish we can't see any sign of Constantine or Katazak shit These rocks were broken, as if they had taken cannon fire. But what could have happened here? I don't recognize these men. 
Still more unknown soldiers. Could they have been responsible for the attack? This one is carrying a letter. Let's see. These vials look familiar. Kadasak used the very same to stock his potions. He came all the way here. I'm going to pick them up. I recognize this sack. It's my cousin's. Oh, Constantin. What have you gotten yourself into again? According to this note, this troop came from an outpost of the Bridge Alliance close by. A patrol, no doubt. Could the bridge be in some way linked to this attack? That makes no sense. You wouldn't surprise me. Let sum things up. Constantin and Katazak definitely came through here to perform some sort of ritual. But they were attacked. An attack obviously involving wild animals. And then there are these traces of inexplicable flames. Could it be magic? You cannot suspect my people are behind this attack. You have strayed far from the pack. No one would have attacked Katasach unless he himself was behind it. He is a powerful Donegad. The beasts obey him. How could you even think something like that? He is a healer. He brought comfort to your cousin. Perhaps he only did it to gain our trust. With Constantine captive, he can now apply leverage to the colonists and force them to accept his conditions. But in all truth, I have no idea what to think. Regardless of who is guilty, I must find my cousin. Perhaps we could return to Wenshavier in order to learn more. Katazak may have returned there. His Voglandide might be able to tell us where to find him. We are also going to have to visit the outpost. Their soldiers participated in the combat. Or at least the end of it. They must have some stories to tell us. That trail seems a better one to follow. Katasach is a good man, but the soldiers and the lions have already betrayed you. That is true, but I do not see how they could have made these animals obey them. However, one way or another, Constantine is in danger. Let us be on our way without further delay. Just to get down the line inside, folks. Get it. We're freakish. Back in here. this way there you go
It's almost to the alliance down here. <sighs> I ain't talking too much. I've been a little sick the whole week. <coughs> ain't went away yet. You must have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? De Sade. I am legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Pardon my dismay, but we don't get many uh, official sorts around here. Captain Idris, I am the ranking officer in charge of this Bridge Alliance outpost. What can I do for you, milady? Ask about the disappearing of Const I am looking for Constantin Dorsey, the island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. The governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this rat hole? My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all died. But we found no trace of his body, which has us hoping that he may still be alive, wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I hope this is a joke. We've had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency, but we haven't seen him. And we definitely haven't kidnapped him. The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. Yesterday, we heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. But I was hoping... And you didn't go and see for yourself? You hear screams, certainly those of your own men, and you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well. You can think of me as a coward if you like, but me, I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? I can see how difficult your present situation has become. I'm certain you haven't been paid either for quite some time. I cannot solve all of your problems. But what would you say if I took care of that one at least? A little gold would certainly improve the morale of my men. <sighs> one of the men I posted there returned during the night. A survivor? Excellent. Did he tell you what happened? He wasn't able to say a word. He collapsed unconscious two steps past the doorway. Our nurse sits with him, but... There is little hope that he will come back to himself. His wounds are extremely serious. He's just... refusing to die. I am sorry to hear that, Captain. Perhaps we could do something for him. Go and see the nurse. Perhaps you can do something to help the poor boy. I can't take it anymore. To lose another man. Anything else? Concerning the young man that survived. Did you see the nurse? Not yet. Really? I thought that your cousin's life hung in the balance. This boy will not survive long if someone doesn't help him. Anything else? I need okay. to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. What are you doing there? This is an infirmary. I know. 
I've come to see the wounded soldier. The captain told me you might need my help. That is very kind of him. But alas, it's a little late. What are you saying? Is the soldier... No, he still lives. But I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks. I no longer have a single remedy. And now that we have a wounded patient, I can only wipe water on his brow and hope. Do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. Because of you, this poor boy might be able to survive his wounds. Oh my. Didn't even hit she? Were you able to concoct the potion against burns? Yes, I was. Might we administer it? Give it to me. I'll take care of this. Well, we must wait and be patient now. Will he make it? I hope so. We'll know soon enough. This potion is extremely potent. And if he survives, when could we speak to him? Come back tomorrow at the same time. We'll know more then. Very well. I'll come back tomorrow. See you soon. And thank you again for your help. All right. Been looking around a little bit. Don't look like it's anything too important, yo. Oh. Contract, missing scout. One of our scouts did not return for the civilian pension in the forest. What the region? He was in attempting to locate a rebel native group. The scouts come from a good family and they offer a war. Any information that could help them find them. Travelers, beware. Bandits have been spotted roaming around the water source of the rest. Camp is certainly in the vicinity. We advise you steer clear of the region unless you heavily on. Whatever comes neutralize this threat shall be rewarded. You can't really you know, do these questions. You just gotta go find them, the contracts. So that's why I you know if you really want to do the contracts you can sit down and do them but there's no like there's nothing telling you exactly what to do. And you know, just wandering around the area, you'll eventually, you know, find what you need to find. It kind of tells you where to go. Like you say, something about water source. If you go by some water, you probably can find what to do. But um, ultimately, what you want to do, you kind of, I, I personally ignore the contrast. They're just not important enough. They don't really do nothing. Done. Sorry, it's been such a long time since I started, uh, started recording. But, um, I don't know, man. I've been sick and I just I ain't had the time.
Hello, soldier. How are you doing? Better. A lot better. Are you the one who saved me? The nurse told me. I simply prepared the potion that she told me how to make. Nothing more. Could you tell me what happened during the attack? I will try. They're not really memories I'm fond to bring back. A lot of my friends died up there. We were posted up on the peak to follow rebel movement. It had been a couple of days and we heard sounds of fighting not far from our position. Men were screaming in our own language. So we went to see what was happening. Soldiers of the coin guard and an islander were trying to protect a young man. He, he seemed dire ill. Constantin Katasak and his escort. Who were they fighting against? Dozens of wild animals. They seemed completely enraged and intent on devouring them. And there were flames. Flames? Where were they coming from? I don't know. My friends and all the soldiers fell one after the other. Oh, I didn't see everything. All was blood and confusion and beasts and fire. But I thought I saw another islander. Big. He's the one who took the sickened man. There was practically no one left on the battlefield. I was wounded and I passed out. I came to when I heard voices of islanders approaching me. Rebels. I thought to myself, they're coming to finish off the wounded. I, I got up with difficulty and fled. I dragged myself here. <laughs> and you know the rest. I'm going to have to go and find these rebels. You shouldn't do that. They killed all of my friends. You take a great risk. That's enough. Rest now. You're still far from having recovered. Yes. It's best I leave you now. I've learned enough. I'll have a word with your captain. Goodbye. Excellency. I was told that you saved my soldier. Thank you. You can't imagine what this means to us. Please. I did nothing more than follow the instructions your nurse gave me. Did you learn what you needed to learn? Yes. I was able to question your man and he told me what he saw. He and his company heard sounds of the attack and they went to investigate. My cousin's escort were nearly annihilated by animals that jumped out from all sides. A strange sorcerer controlled them. It was he that took my cousin. One of those rebel savages, no doubt. I knew that they'd be behind all of this. They must have learned that an important man was in the region and thought he would make the perfect hostage. <sighs> I'm sorry. I would give you some men, but... Don't apologize. I know where the camp can be found, and if my cousin is there, I will free him. Like you freed the scholars. You're a good woman, Excellency. Thank you again for saving my soldier. I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. Hey, that's the end of that quest. And that's the end of searching for Constantine, guys. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and save right here.